car 17 ahead is under investigation for overtaking on the yellows and that was very tight indeed. Not the first time that car's headed onto the grass of Giotto. Oh. Oh. The 37 off again. And, and the, it's the 4 DKR car as well. So the 37 that had already spun when it was in the hands of oh, Lorenzo Fuchsa. Big, big collision for who's in the car? Poor Luke Chatin. Remember, he's changed cars this weekend. Been driving the 47 up until this point. 37 for him this weekend. And has he clashed with the DKR engineering car of Belin Garcia in this moment? Because Belin was rejoining. This is where on the track it's at turns five and six at Villeneuve. What's happened here? And here is all the world's LMGT3 cars all in a row. Led by Claudius Giovoni, who's back in the 60 car, so he's the bronze, whereas most of the other teams have dealt with their 90 minutes for their non-pro driver, if you like. But Schiavone causing a bit of a queue because immediately behind him is Lorcan Hannafin in the Aston Martin for Grid Motorsport and diving down the inside oh, there. contact there. So in the Formula Racing car, which is not on the lead GT lap, it's Conrad Lawson. That's not going to stop him getting ahead, though, of the Grid Motorsport car of Lorcan Hannafin. Oh, and trouble there for Matt Griffin. Sideways he goes. Was that a side-to-side -side contact with another Ferrari 296? I think it was. The, was it 51? Yeah, they were right together. Manu Collard and Matt Griffin. So that was coming out of Aqua Minerale and on coolish tyres probably as well. Side-by-side -side action. Matt Griffin having to do the big loop on the grass as now Johnny, as, uh, Conrad Lawson down the inside of Claudius Give only to get one of the laps back for car 50. Here's Michel Gatting. Now the Aston Martin surely has got a better exit this time around, looking for the crucial inside line down at Tamburello, but Michel Gatting's not going to allow Valentin Hasclo to get anywhere close to it. There was definitely contact there between the two of them on the main straight. There's a big scuff mark now on the Aston Martin and a huge squirm from the Porsche, but Michel Gatting is not going to give up this race lead that easily and still stays ahead. Phenomenal. She drifts to the left. Oh, that's the move I was talking about. That could have been absolutely horrendous. <laughs> Foot flat to the balls from Michelle Gatting, and the car twitched by about 45 degrees. Here comes Daniel Serra. Now, how many of these cars can he overtake on the closing lap within LMGT3? No. This is an absolute cracker. He's in the toe of the Aston Martin. Comes the, the inside. Is the room there? There isn't. This is going to help Michel Gatting, isn't it? Because now all of a sudden Valentin Hasclo has to defend, defend, defend all the way to the finish. Serra late on the brakes. He's ripped the rear of the Aston Martin off the car, but that doesn't matter. It'll actually mean it's a bit lighter now for Valentin Hasclo to pull it out of Rivazza and still to finish second. But Michel Gatting will win by a country mile compared to the most of the final bit of the stint as the bumper goes flying off towards the barrier. Oh my God.